non-native to a certain ecosystem, cause harm to both the environment and natural resources, including plants, animals, or any other organisms. Human actions also contribute to introducing invasive species. They can be introduced to a new area from traveling ships, intentional and accidental releases of aquaculture species. This can lead to native plants and animals to be endangered or extinct, reduces their biodiversity and competes for limited resources such as sunlight, space and water. They can cause harm to the wildlife in many different ways. When newly introduced to an ecosystem, they might not have any natural predators. They do not adapt very well to their new surroundings. They can produce and spread very quickly, taking over the native species area. They catch on diseases that the invasive species carries change food webs by destroying or replacing native food sources and disturbing the environment that the native species are living in, disturbs their living conditions, forcing them to be unable to grow. Invasive species spread due to the increase of the average temperature. The plant is a large flowering shrub that grows in thickets, brought to Australia as a garden plant in 1841 and were listed as a key threatening process in Schedule 3, thriving in warm environments, growing along forest edges, penetrating disturbed rainforests, as well as invading open eucalypt woodland pastures and have invaded at least 4 million hectares. According to research by NSW Department of Environment and Climate Change, the ECC, antenna have conferred to be one of the Australian Aust worst environmental weeds. It costs 1,322 native plants and 158 native species negatively affected by its invasion. There are only 142 native species or animals utilize its benefits. There are 279 plants and 93 animals listed to have been in risk and have threatened under national threatened species legislation. It also threatened 10 ecological communities currently listed under the EPBC Act. Mostly from the data, it shows that 61 vulnerable plant species and 2 vulnerable animal species are likely to be listed to be endangered and 6 of it are listed to be critically endangered. Example, at some site, lantana infestation have completely stalled the regeneration of rainforests for three decades. Lantana caused the extinction of the shrub Linum cratericola, Elysian, Leancea, and give a threat to other endangered plants in the Galapagos archipelago. 176 species plants and animals have also been identified that could be under the EBPC Act due to Lantana, including 121 species that are already listed under NSW or Threatening Species Legislation. Also, Lantana can poison off a number of animals including cattle, buffalo, sheep and goat. It leaves and seeds contain triterpenoids can cause poisoning and photosensitivity. Lantana can overwhelm and outcompete native plant species. This alter the local environment and reduces biodiversity. Lantana reduces species richness and suppresses regeneration in native tree population. In a study, the livestock grazing together with lantana can give a combined impact on the tree's density, its richness, and its composition. The tree seedling density, recruitment, survival, richness, and composition also a victim to lantana impaction. In addition, the independence of lantana and livestock can give an effect on the native understory herbs and shrubs density, richness, and its composition. It also do affect the amount of grass and utilization of wild herbivore.
Lantana also gives an impact on primary industries, conservation, and biodiversity. And the extent of its distribution, widespread Lantana can give a constant impact on agriculture, the environment, and forestry management, and recreation and transport. Example, it reduced the productivity and hindered the production of harvesting, especially in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Island. It affects the production of crops such as coffee, oil palms, coconuts, and cotton. Lantana also allowed the soil to absorb rain is lower than under good grass cover. This increased the amount of runoff and increased the risk of soil erosion. There are some specific impact locations. Australia, India, St. Helena. Example, herbicides. Herbicides are cost-effective for smaller infestation and for treating regrowth. Use Florox, Fear, and Glyphosate during growing period. Allowing a bulk of pasta to remain in the paddock all year round under normal weather condition will help to prevent the establishment of weeds. For their spraying, it only is effective if the lantern is actively growing and the plants are less than 2 meters high. Biocontrol agent. There are almost 40 biocontrol agents that can be found in 32 countries. Example, Hemiptera, leaf mining beetles, Daptera, Coleoptera, and the seed feeding fly. This reduces the vigor and competitiveness of lantana in certain areas. Burn, use fire, reduce the height and density of lantana tickets. Restriction of seal and use of lantana in gardens. Use fungal pathogen to attack the widespread pink flowering variety of lantana. Lastly, hand grubbing, hand cutting, hand pulling can minimize soil disturbance and damage to desirable vegetation. In 1855, the red fox was introduced purposely for recreational hunting. The first successful invasion of red foxes are in southern Victoria. Its populations became established by 1870 and it spread across Australia within 100 years. As it is distributed worldwide and able to live in many different habitats, it shows that red foxes are able to adapt to changing conditions easily. It is primarily carnivorous but capable of omnivorous behaviour allowing it to survive on prey scars. The most common disease associated with red fox is rabies. It is also found to have carried a variety of endoparasites. Moreover, the predation of red fox is a major threat to the survival of native Australian fauna. An example of a native species threatened are the bilby and the numbat. In 2004, the red fox cost Australian environmental industries more than $237 million for the predation of lambs. It also, it also chews and consumes on items which can cause damage to infrastructures such as irrigation systems in orchards. Poison 1080 is used for fox baiting as the poison for foxes are very susceptible to it but native animals won't be affected by it. Immunocontraception uses a chemical which makes these red foxes infertile, which would decrease their birth rate, though this is a slow method to reduce it. Dingoes, a type of free-ranging dog in Australia too, can reduce the population of red fox by hunting and killing them. However, dingoes kill but do not eat their victims. This way, red foxes would fear them and we can place dingoes in habitats to protect red foxes' prey. Besides, fencing the area can prevent red foxes from entering or invading it. Guardian dogs can be used as well to protect animals from red foxes. They have proved their worth by protecting seabird colonies from red foxes in southern Victoria. Try planting native plants that can remove invasive plants. Learn to identify invasive species around our area so we would know what actions should be taken. Clean regularly, clean shoes, car tires, equipment used outdoors to remove insects or plant parts that may spread invasive species to other areas. 
in general, consider pros and cons before allowing a species to invade the region.